Merry Christmas from Disney World. The tree is up and looking good. This is the first time this year we are seeing it. Looking very, very nice. Main Street USA has the garland up and looking nice. Look at that. Main Street at Christmas certainly does look outstanding. Garland everywhere. Giant wreaths hanging with those hangers out there. Candles. Yeah, it is looking good here today. And they're having filming for some kind of production they got going on. You can see the lights up front there, so it's looking real good. Well, hello again, everyone. Pastor Ed here with family. Today it's just another Sunday. We are back here on a Sunday, and this is our first time back uh, since they put up the Christmas stuff. So today we're going to be looking at the decorations around the park. We're going to be looking at merchandise around the park. We're going to see what some of this uh, filming that they're doing here. I've heard several celebrities are here today, and they are having two special previews because of the filming of the parade that happens during the Christmas party. Normally that doesn't happen at this time, but it's happening today. We're going to catch the second show of that a little bit later. So my friends, it's going to be an awesome time today. Join us today. Shout out the lights in the distance there for whatever they're getting ready to film. Interesting. You know, a little bit busier here as we get to the pub area. They're not crazy. Special lighting they got up there. So in all my excitement about the Christmas decorations, I forgot to mention, we are trying a restaurant in Magic Kingdom today that we have not been to before, Skipper Canteen. It's in Adventureland. As soon as you go into Adventureland, which is the same area that Jingle Cruise and Pirates are in. I had to think there for a second. Jingle Cruise, of course, is different. The special holiday overlay they're doing on that. But we're gonna be trying it today. I'm gonna check out the menu, see what it's all about, and then hopefully after that, catch the parade. Over here approaching the entrance to Adventureland. Skipper Canteen is gonna be shortly past this, over to the right. They have Mele Kalikimaki, special photo opportunity over here. Hmm. Here we are, Skipper Canteen. We're gonna have our first experience here, and it ought to be a good one. Inside of the Skipper Canteen, the Jungle Cruise, grand opening of the Jungle Navigation Company. It was kind of cool in here, I gotta say. They're taking us into another room in here. Oh, this is a nice little cool room in here. Nice little quaint room. Almost just a little bit like Yak and Yeti, a little bit. Oh, some interesting looking china and stuff they have in here. This place is interesting. I like it. So we are in the um, jungle room, and so we've also found out that the people that wait on the tables, the servers, are also called skippers, just like they are on um, the jungle cruise, jungle cruise. And so the room that we're in is actually called the China Room because to a giant wall of China. So. Looks like kids, we're gonna to continue to get the dad jokes today, just like we would on the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna to continue to get those jokes. I know, they're all birds in here, almost like the Tiki Room. Pretty cool looking. So I gotta say, this menu looks pretty cool. Skipper Canteen menu, you actually get a physical menu here. You don't have to scan a QR code or anything. You open it up and it's got like the map on it. It's got a rhino behind there. Hello, hello. hello. How are you doing today? So we have several things on here. We have our specialty cocktails, alcoholic stuff, and beverages in there, just typical Coke products they have in there. Ooh, that Enchanted Orange Dream. That looks pretty good. I will say that looks pretty good. All right. And then we have Boston Found Soup. That is interesting. Corn pancakes, okay. So we have this mess hall fried rice. I'm kind of thinking we might try that as an appetizer. All right. 
at the falafel there. It looks pretty good. Good out with appetizers. We have this Dr. Falls signature grilled steak, marinated hanger steak with tomatoes, onions, dressing. And what does it say for the butter? Paprika butter? That's interesting. Curried vegetable cured stew. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Seasoned vegetables. Tastes like chicken. Honey and vinaigrette. Hardy. Pork. Um, the noodle bowl. That looks good as well. Nile noodles, saute, toss with special sauce, eggs. Ooh, interesting. Sustainable fish. Okay. Lamb chops. Wow, this has got a pretty pretty good looking menu here. Some unique stuff here you can't really get any other places. Okay. I like that. All right, so one of the things that we ordered that was an appetizer that was not on the menu, an unlisted item, was some type of cheesy bread um, that comes with some dip with it. So the kids really seem to think that would be really good. So we're going to go ahead and get that, give you a preview of that. And then, um, yeah, show you what that's like. Well, you think it was cheesy bread, right? Wasn't it? I think it was. Whatever it is, whatever it is it's going to be good. Right, so one of the beverages that we got here, particularly a special one that I'm going to try is this Dole Whip. Um, Enchan it's Enchanted Dole Whip. Enchanted, Enchanted Orange Dole Whip. Orange We're going to see how... Dream. Enchanted Orange Dream. Enchanted Orange Dream. Rosie, you have such a good memory. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. If I can tell you by the looks of it, it looks. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Is that good? Is that good? You like it? Good. So one of the things we got here was an unlisted item called the cheese bread, which comes with... What kind of sauce is that? Like a... a what is it? Pesto. pesto. Yeah, pesto on that. It looks good. How is it? Is it good? Cheese bread. Here we have the uh, wild rice with the shrimp on it, which is one of the appetizers there. I'm going to dig into this in a second, but it looks very good. So what are our thoughts on those appetizers? They were really good. Yeah. So the, the fried rice, I probably wouldn't get again. The shrimp was good, but the rice is kind of bland. Uh -huh. I really loved the cheesy bread though. That the was cheesy bread. Good. The kids liked it too. I would try the falafel and the corn pancakes next time though. Yeah, maybe two different appetizers next time. But all in all, really good start to this one. All right, so some of this stuff we have here, this is, what honey, again, the steak, it's Dr. Somebody's steak. Yeah, it's super, super Are good. there fries on there? There's fries under there. There's fries on there, that's unique. Interesting. Chicken, this comes with grit. chicken that comes with the grits. You got some corn and everything on there. That does look especially really good. good. Emmy, you got mac and cheese. How is it? Eddie, you got mac and cheese and fries. Rosie, you got steak. You got steak. All looks very good. All right, so a hot take on this. When I first saw that the there were French fries on this plate, I wasn't entirely like a, a fan of that. So, but. I have to say, the teriyaki sauce mixing in with the fries is kind of a nice touch. I actually kind of like it. And you all know that I love tomatoes, so that actually is a cool thing there. But Nicole, your dish looks really good, too. It's so good. This cabbage and the corn and onions mixed with the grits and the chicken is super, super, super really good. Really very, good. Very, very good. All right, so take on mine. Uh, if I had to do that over, I'd probably get what Nicole got. I think her dish overall is a better dish, more flavors more things that just make sense together. The steak was good. However, the fries, if I had to do it over, I would get rice instead because steak, rice, and vegetables just make sense, even a potato, like mashed potatoes, but not french fries. So that's just my take. I think the karaoke sauce would take, taste better uh, with the mashed potatoes instead of the fries. And hon, as you're almost through this, what's your final thoughts on that dish? The flavors just match together mm -hmm. so nicely. Mm -hmm. And I have like a sweet corn with the cabbage and the onions, mm -hmm. plus then the grits, which have a really nice flavor by themselves. This chicken had a sauce on it. It looks like a simple marinara, but it's not. It's super, super good. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. All right, Rosie, show me yours. So the kids all had the kids' meals, which have the option of two sides, and one of those is a dessert. That is a volcano cake, correct? Yeah. You guys are going to have to tell me how that is. How is it, Rosie? It's really good. It's chocolate cake with a red velvet. Uh-huh. Good? Okay, good. No, good. We're happy. I'm happy. All right, so I did speak with the waitress. We are able, we have the option for that steak instead of the fries to get rice with it. If you're going to get that steak, 
unless you love fries, which I don't, um, I would 100% recommend getting the rice uh, with that. Also, how do we rank um, this restaurant comparatively? So it's not better than Liberty Tree. So I would say that I didn't have high expectations just given the menu. Mm -hmm. I thought that I wasn't really gonna like it very much, but that chicken dish was so, 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 so good. And I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the cheese appetizer was super good. And like I said, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to come back and try those other two appetizers. Mm -hmm. I think I'm pleasantly surprised by this place and I would definitely come back. Yeah. I would say ranking wise as far as Magic Kingdom restaurants, sit down restaurants, Liberty Tree Tavern's the number one, probably Cinderella's Royal Table number two, maybe this place number three. I'm still a huge fan of Casey's, but this is definitely top five. Well, yeah, but if you can include sit down, I would definitely put this number three. I'd put it above Crystal Palace, no question. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Put it above Tony's, no question. But um, yeah, it's really, really good. We like it. We will be back. give much of an intro to that you can see some of the filming stuff right there behind me so they are currently filming segments as they explained to us of the Disney Christmas special to air on ABC on Christmas Day and also be available on Hulu and Disney Plus afterwards but it's pretty cool um, Derek and Julianne Hoff were there and it was really cool got some really good video of them and you'll see here in a minute uh, already saw actually so it was just really awesome now we're heading over to the Emporium on Main Street looking for Christmas merch and hopefully see the parade after that because it's running late so we're gonna so we are entering the seasonal section and the season that it is is Christmas so check out Christmas merchandise oh my gosh look at the jammies uh-huh Christmas jammies there look at the Christmas jammies spirit jersey the green one cool Mickey hat I think Nicole really likes that hat Mickey Mouse, nice. Pins, pins. The Lion King, Genie, Snowman. Got plush toys over here, Minnie, Mickey, Stitch. Oh, that's a cool shirt. Button up, it's long sleeve. Cool jacket there. Ears, kid sizes on that. That's cool. This is a sweatshirt, looking the magic. Blue spirit jersey there. Some more ears. Time of year. That's a cool shirt. Very green. Very green. I'll give it that. Oh, look at that. See if you like that. You like that shirt? Yeah. Yeah. What's, uh, here we go. My style here. Button up stuff here. Got some sweatpants, adult props here. Some lounge flies. We got in here with stitch on that, which moves actually. That's cool. I know, a stitch on the rocket ship. That's neat. We kind of Hanukkah section over there. Look at that. Interesting. 
water bottles. This is regular stuff over here. everyone we had an awesome time today just having a bunch of skipper canteen then seeing some of the production for the holiday special with Derek and Julianne Hupp and then the parade which is a special show time of the parade as I explained and uh, we did a little bit of shopping and just hanging out a little bit but my friends today was an outstanding day and so we uh, want to bless you today hope you enjoyed this my friend we love you God loves you my friends be blessed we'll see you again next time